have to act to you in our labor rights. We lead and understand that, so we understand that too. Yeah, man. Lowest of the low. One soup of debris. We wash from everywhere. And you just throw them out, them just spread out all over the internet, people. And if you, an intelligent person, ever drop in at them circle, you don't need that. Now welcome back to another excuse for life. Now blessing goes out to all my viewers and all my subbies. All my well wishes. Like, share and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Come up in today's topic and review. Trace the DNA, the DNA of SSL for me. Can you? Well, one of the biggest contributor to the financial um, meltdown was the Eagle Group. Yeah? SSL was formerly what we call Paul, Paul Chenyon and Company. That was the stockbroking arm um, of the Eagle Group. You with me? Yeah. Talk, the talk man to. who used to run SSL, Mr. Cross Kerry, he was the man who was running Paul Chenyon and Company, the stockbroking arm um, of the Eagle Group. So that's where it came from. Parliament at the time described it as the greatest transfer of wealth from the poor to the rich. <laughs> My viewers of my subscribers, I wonder when Mr. Andrew Ole is going to realize that internet changed the game. And every time he speaks, he always analyzes himself in the show of suicide. Car, he accuses the opposition party of the Fins Act. When here is evidence to show say, the Fins Act meltdown in the 90s is connected to the SNL and now in 2023 2024 we are see the same thing now the reason for this is that the same set of people did a run the finzak in the 90s are the same people them running snl in the 20th century right now and this is the same thing them did in the 90s them come back and do it in the 2024 and 2023 and them rob you sent you send both money the same thing mr 28 bank account ah uh, say in this clip right here so the greatest transfer of wealth from poor people unto the rich we witnessed that in 2020 as the greatest transfer of wealth from the poor to the rich and the wickedest thing is that Mr. Andrew Olness know everything we are going on because the same management of the FinZAC is the same management now of the SNL that Mr. Andrew Olness were heavily invested in and also was advised to pull out fee money before the meltdown of SNL. I'm going to show you all of the proof. In this video, stay tuned. Sean is a this man. Judge of God. Never see somebody like this. There is still work to be done on the Jamaican economy. And as I stand here, having given you know 27 years of my life to the country and a very you know under very difficult circumstances, it nine almost nine years of keeping my hands on the wheels and keeping the country stable and balanced and making sure that Jamaica is a place that is showing promise and progress and there is prosperity. I am very much afraid of thinking about what could happen. No, we are still steady. <laughs> Stay steady. If for any reason stable hands were to come off the wheel, no, we to put novice hands on the wheel, I, 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 I think, and I, I, you know, it, I, I shudder to think, and therefore, my commitment to continue to see this through to its proper conclusion. 28 account, you worried, yeah? Are your conscience about you? Can you worry about a next, the opposition leader, Kobe Cup get rich? Because what? You know, say, exactly the same thing you do. Are the same thing you do, but what? Thief not likes a thief with long bag. Yeah, man. 
Because you don't want to see a next man come in. Because what? He might come in and get rich. You not come in and get rich. You not come in in eight years. How oh, oh, oh rich you is right now within eight years. So we are try to say. Come on brother. A time for your goal now you know. I am determined to ensure that we don't fall into the rut as we fell in when the country was destroyed in the 70s, rebuilt in the 80s, and then for 18 and a half years we fell into a lull. I'm not going to make that happen. We cannot make that happen. No. It is out of that period of time that we had FinSAC, which, which made our debt move to almost 130% of GDP. It was during that time that public sector bodies were so poorly managed that they created a fiscal risk for the government and created further debt for the government. It was during that time that murders passed a thousand in this country. Remind them, my parents, remind them. Now you hear them idiots about to remind them. Let me remind you something. That since 2016, since Mr. 28 are called COVID power, every year since then, the crime rate is over a thousand and more. Miss Portia Simpson, former prime minister, highest 1,000 murder rate, yeah, is Andrew Olness, lowest since he's been. Prime Minister, I'm gonna check it. The statistic is there. So don't make this one come and chat. No rubbish, too. No. One of the, the second highest murder rate in the country of Jamaica 1647 people was under Andrew Olney's watch. You talk about bad roads and lack of it was during that time when there was no budget when the country wasn't growing, that there was disinvestment in the infrastructure of the country. As I said, some of you weren't born then. I don't scare about her grandmother tell her. I bet she can't read. My girl, go up on the internet and go read about the Finns act for yourself and stop listening to People, you see this man, you are liar, this man in the world. So when we talk, Bernard, we have to bring the facts to the table. Yes. Because people are only seeing what is in front of them. They don't have the full understanding and the full context. Now, she is the DNA, the DNA of SSL for me. Can you? Well... Now I want you to listen to this man and explain to you how the company s and L Limited, the company where Rob you sent both money, how it was farm. And they also gonna show you that the same management of the FinZac back in the 90s is the same management of the s and L presently right now. The only difference is that them change them name and Andrew Olness know all of this. Now, Mr. 28 account is accusing the opposition leader of benefiting greatly or get rich out of this FinZac where there is no proof and there is actual proof for sure say the Finns act all of these management Paul Chin Young and the one here named Cross Cross Carry away more name left with how many billions of poor people money. The former Prime Minister Edward Siago also borrowed thirty million on listen to it. Una listen to our guy, so. She is the DNA, the DNA of SSL for me. Can you? 
Well, one of the biggest contributors to the financial um, meltdown was the Eagle Group. Yeah? SSL was formerly what we call Paul, Paul Chenyon and Company. That was the stockbroking arm of the Eagle Group. You with me? Yeah, talk, the talk man to who him. used to run SSL, Mr. Cross Terry, he was the man who was running Paul Chenyon and Company, the stockbroking arm of the Eagle Group. So that's where it came from. They went down with fourteen billion and change for the tax bill. That that is in so the, the that the is in the in the, the in the in the in the FinSAC the era. Forty billion FinSAC money that we are talking about. They to them amount was fourteen million dollars. Fourteen million. Billion. Billion. Be. And and yeah. if we equate that today to today's money, that would be like fifty billion now. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Real money we're talking about because Real back in the day the dollar yeah. was. Yep. Better valued. Yeah, man. So, so yeah, the man. DNA of SSL I come from down there, sir. Yeah, man, from the Eagle Group. The bloodline. Yeah, man. No, I said to you earlier, there are people presently in the parliament that was bailed out by FinSAC. Isn't that so? <laughs> I'll tell you, yeah, man. That's why you can't get the report. I wonder if any of them persons that they're on the PNP side who got bailed not, out from No, FinSAC. not right now. But you said nobody on the PNP side never get bailed out from FinSAC? No, not right now. Yeah. Oh, not so, who's in the current PNP setup. So which side they're on? I don't know. But people That's in the parliament... I have, to tell, I have to tell why the report can't be published and why I get transcripts instead of the report. Are you confident, Ralston, that all the material unearthed by the inquiry has been uploaded to this archive? No, man. Then you're not the class saying we got some of the information, man, and take out some of the information. Because we would have followed the team. At that time, I was the financial, financial editor of the Sunday Herald. And we know of people who borrow money from Central National Bank and tell them to God prepare. <laughs> Who that? 30 the, million the, US dollars. Them the, the, the man US dollars are not more money. The, the American born? Of course. Oh, oh an yeah. American born. Born 30, 30 million. billion. I don't know, know who was the accountant in the place when he said that. Well, and 30 million, yeah. right? 30 million US dollars. There might be enchanted guard within a year at least. La Carino, sir. No, man. In a, in a Ochi. In a center in Ochi. And, 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 and I said... I said to you, Ralston, and that was the project that Port and Tor So, people who are talking now, people who are seeking to lead the country now, they benefited. When I said that they benefited, they became millionaires and billionaires on the backs of the people. No, Mr. Anjoni is a two lie. Because I try to tell lie upon Mark Golden because he is the opposition leader where I try to come into power right now. So I may say benefit greatly from the FinZac. And there is no proof. You are two lie, man. If you stop going and spread propaganda, you understand? When the proof is there, for sure, say, the owners of the FinZac back in the 90s are the same owners of SNL now in the 20s. The same people them were rob Usain Bolt money and how many other more people who invested in the company. So the same thing were happening in the 90s is happening right now, right this very minute. And your company here so try chat garbage to people. You are disgraced to a nation and we still say we're we'll get mad pan you and you have to step down on the Mr. Anjones. You have to resign. When they carried an economic policy called the high interest rate policy, yes. which helped to drive up the debt. Yes. We're one of their own MPs. Described it in a way. You know it, my friend. So there are there are some youngsters here who have studied the history. Yes. And I can only say he's an honest man, a man of the club. When he spoke about the high interest rate policy, 
that some of them who want to lead the country today, they benefited from it. And their own person, their own member of parliament at the time described it as the greatest transfer of wealth from the poor to the rich. That is what they want to come back to do to the Jamaican economy. I have no doubt that that is what they want to do to come and get wealthy on the backs of the poor. I will not allow that to happen. No, I'm going to show you the proof of my viewers and my subscribers. I want to them to listen carefully and intensively you are a smart thinking person you know say everything what is saying right here sir is true and if you don't believe say it's true go look it up because the truth is there on the internet but you a lot of them labor rights and them don't read them only love get up and run behind people and jump up and rate it and them don't say say mr 28 account is playing tricks upon them but him game a come to an end and me a tell him it's a 28 account you need to step down you need to resign retire of your teeth in ways you know say Finzak connected to the SNL and the same thing you are do you and your you and these people now we are going to show you everything you know me not have much to say me I make you listen to the proof me I practice my, my ex because I want to make sure that uh, my part will spoil this election day. Long time in labor right there for Ghana. You know? I'm too uncaring, man. Make sure that uh, my mom the ex right there. Uh, because so. I don't want the ballot spoiled. See that ex, yeah? For the teacher, they want to get them pay. Mm. You see that ex, yeah? And for the people, they want dead by a hospital bench because they never have no bed. You see that ex, yeah? Mm. For the police, them will work overtime and can't get them overtime paid. Yeah, man. See how that ex, yeah? After the big salary, what the politician them give himself? And I can't get a little salary to the people, them. That ex, right now, yeah. For the nurse, them. The nurse, them. What if you are working long, 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 long hours and can't get no pay? If you go out far in if you try to survive. You see? Oh man, that ex yeah? This is because uh, that time they didn't take the bulldozer and mash up the house them out of Clifton. You see that ex yeah? And the arrogance. And the dictatorship when they might try to run the country and uh. You see when they right there so? I feel all of the disrespect when they want to give Jamaica. I'm going to make sure I mark my ex properly. Time come for a change. Time come. They replace them with somebody. So you see, because how quickly they move on it, their appointment lifted all restrictions on SSL, essentially giving them the green light to continue with the shenanigans. Yes. Jamaica people who remember a gentleman named Paul Chen Young. Who remember this gentleman? Who remember Paul Chen Young? Big, big labor right, you know. Let me say. Big, big labor right. Yes. Top dog. Mm -hmm. Paul Chen Young Who remember Paul Chen Young My people I tell you, you know, the class I got nice this morning you know I go and open up Some of your eyes this morning Who remember Paul Chen Young My people Big big labor right That ran away with Jamaican assets during the financial meltdown of the 1990s. See him here bottom with the glasses. Hey, my him named Paul Chen Young. Labor right. Jamaica people. He won all kind of bank. 
Eagle Merchant Bank, Crown Eagle Life, Phoenix Bank, Chen Young and Associates, you name it. Chase, you name it. Paul Chen Young, head it. All right. That gentleman, you hope you're saying at the stripe shirt. His name is Hugh Krosky. And him, Hugh Krosky, and Paul Chen Young. Both labor rights, bosom bodies, worthless, devious individuals. They say they're my investors. All right? Jamaica. During the Bruce Golding era, back in 2007, them put an injunction on none other than Mr. Stripe Shirt Man up at top, you crusty. Busted, you know. When your ears say court, I put injunction pay you. You know, say you get boss. And so Jamaica, he, Mr. Hugh Krosky, was given 14 days Krosky. Krosky, yes, thank you, Mr. Krosky. He was given 14 days to declare the locations of all assets. Remember the court file injunction pan him now in him get boss. Then find out what go on. And so the court put injunction pan him. 14 days the court gave him to declare the locations of all assets held by him on behalf of Phoenix. Whether in his name or nominees. Thank you, Richard. Hugh Krosky, Mr. Man in the striped shirt. You know the audacity of you after the court bust by you and things a mash up now. You don't know what him do. The audacity of you Krosky, you know. Assets held by him without notifying notice or consent. Only ever hear anything presumptuous. A brighter outer uh, what me say you cross cree him up here saying at the striped shirt ask the court not to dispose of his assets held by him without notifying hmm? the court must ask him for consent first remember you know the people them catch on same at the wrong things Busted, and you are asked the court for mercy. They come ask you for consent to move forward. Oh, me never know how so it go. Jamaica, the business got busted, and the court, in layman's terms, said, "Radam, the assets were frozen." On the application by who? Jamaica's Solicitor General, King's Council, Michael Hilton. You hear that, Jamaica? The Solicitor General freeze Hugh Crosscree asset. That mean if you have millions of dollars in the bank, then freeze it. You can't draw no money. You can't this. You can't that. Cause them say no man, something are going with you. Where well, we need to have a word with you. Mind you, you know, people, nobody no know nothing about this a Ching Chong Paul Chen Young a bottom yet, you know. We are deal with striped shirt, you cross screw up a top. Alright? Phoenix was the name of the company. Jamaica people. The Solicitor General, King's Counsel Michael Hilton, who had investigated and traced ownership of properties held by no other 
than Mr. Paul Chen Young, former head of the collapsed ego group of companies. So you, Mr. Striped Shirt Man, all along, I act like them something, yeah. Uh, you are the man of yard. But at the same time, you yeah, work for Mr. Paul Chen Young, the man who is a labor right who would have caused the financial meltdown of the 1990s. Want to follow me, students? Continue to follow me, man. I'm going to repeat that. The Solicitor General freeze Mr. Hugh Crossgrey's assets. Yes, King's Counsel Michael Hilton freeze him asset. Ken Young, former head of the collapsed Eagle Group of companies. Remember in the 90s when all of the bank them a go up, you know, the labor right Paul Chen Young. See me in the glasses, don't have all kind of bank a go up. A theme, the properties, them and business, them, you know, and Hugh Crosscree, I work for him. And I cover it up. Remember Paul Chen Young, get up, we left Jamaica in the 90s, you know, gone, gone, live America. While Hugh Crosscree, I do the dirty work. Nobody no know, say, all along, them are properties and business, yeah, controlled by Paul Chen Young, you know. But thanks be to God. The Solicitor General, King Counsel Michael Hilton, do the work and investigation show and trace all of the asset them and properties back to none other than Mr. Paul Chen Young. All right, students. Guess what now, no? The Miami court has since lifted the freeze on Paul Chen Young assets which means he is free to transact business with them in that jurisdiction. All right, fair enough, but not in Jamaica. So all of the assets them with Paul Chen Young have in a Jamaica, oversee by Hugh Crosscree, all of them get shut down, you know, frozen. So him can't turn America. And operate no funding, no property, nothing out of Jamaica. So you know, say so that I go squeeze for him, pack it. However, whatever business him have a go on in America, he can continue to do it. But he cannot continue with the businesses in Jamaica. All right. Courts in Jamaica and also in Florida had barred Mr. Paul Chen Young and Hugh Crosscurry from disposing of the assets on the application of Eagle Merchant Bank and Crown Eagle Life. Guess what? No? Two of Paul Chen's young former companies. Want to see how investigation and root up everything? Commanded by the Jamaican government at the advent of the financial sector meltdown. Jamaica, you, Mr. You Krosky, you know. Big shot, you know, you know. Once again, asserted that the freezing of order or the freezing order was not related to his securities brokerage stocks and securities limited formerly paul chen young and associates of which he crosscree is the chairman so jamaica where you see the business when you have ssl that business was owned and operated, still owned and being operated by Mr. Paul Chen Young through the disguise of this man when named Hugh Crosscurry as chairman of SSL. Now, the same 
Solicitor General King Counsel Michael Hilton presented evidence to the Kingston and Florida courts showing that Paul Chen Young, yes, despite a court order back in May of 2006, that court order was to declare all of Paul Chen's young asset and not to deal with or dispose of any properties without approval. Yes, but guess what? Huh? Paul Chen Young, even though the court rule, you know, you know why I'm doing? transfer over 19 plus properties to Hugh Kraske. One week later, you know, let me show all them people here, we say them in a business, but them not have no head. So Mr. Paul Chen Young, the court put a stop out upon you right and so if you declare all of your asset then because why you are going within a jamaica no right and then put a stop on your asset them and say you must declare everything where you have on the 4th of may 2006 and before you declare to the government of jamaica you asset them what you do you turn them over to you cross curry over 19 plus properties in a jamaica paul chen young hand over him no hand them over and declare them to the courts you know we ask him for seizing asset in why him do he hide and send 19 at property to you cross curry and he did so on the 12th of may 2006 so the court order you to seize your asset and declare your asset them on the 4th of May and on the 12th of May you send them over to Hugh Crossgree just days after the judgment against him to pay over 900 million plus interest. Hmm? In addition, Jamaica three other properties were transferred to Hugh Crosscree another week and a half later on May 24th and also a month later on the 15th of June of that same year so over 25 properties Paul Chen Young transfer over to Hugh Crosscree after the court order him to seize all I asset, him no seize none, you know. Him send them over to him big bosom body friend, Hugh Crosscree. Jamaica. Further investigations showed that the same Paul Chen Young, the big, big laborite, who would have caused significant meltdown the financial sector in the 1990s who caused FinSAC to come about the birth of FinSAC was because of Paul Chen Young a labor right Paul Chen Young also investigation show same have over 170 Florida properties in a company of which he is the president, the director, and also the treasurer. Of course, typical labor right capitalists. Okay, Jamaica, let's pay attention now. Thank you, Burton. Big up yourself, Richard. Jamaica, let's pay attention now. Paul Chen Young. Glasses man down a bottom of Eagle Merchant Bank of the the main big boys them who ran away. Remember in the nineteen nineties, you know, 
when all of them are financial, the sector crash because of him. Can you imagine one man a transfer 19 plus property? And let me tell you something. You see them a property, yeah? Maybe I talk about, I don't know, Pian Pian property, you know. Me mean property like beachfront properties like Jamaica Inn. Um, rooms on the beach. Um, couples negril. And let me tell you something. You see them a property, yeah? Maybe I talk about, I don't know, Pian Pian property, you know. Me mean property like beachfront properties like Jamaica Inn. Um, Rooms on the beach, um, couples, negril, and some prime properties, you know, 19 and plus property, Q Kraski own, and I send just a transfer them when the government a catch on pan him, transfer everything to the man up a tap in a striped shirt in bosom body, yes! I go and do the, I go and do a list of some of them properties here, yeah? and some prominent hotel properties. A Paul Chen Young own them. Dan Crawford and Paul Chen Young own them. Labor rights them. Eh? Jamaica people, pay attention now. Paul Chen Young of Eagle Merchant Bank of the, the him and the big boy. Who ran away in the nineties when the government had clamped down upon him? You know them no longer prison. Ran off with a ton load of money, yes, and was a lead cause in the financial crisis. Transferred a boatload of property to who? Man up at top, Hugh Kraski. Hugh Kraski, in fact. Worked with Eagle Merchant Bank and Paul Chen Young, yeah, and run off with a lot of things as well. He, Hugh Crosskey, run off with a lot of things for him. Hugh Crosskey, man up a top striped shirt. I want a whole heap of nasty, dirty work in do for Paul Chen Young. While Chen Young at the time and live up the high life in a Miami on the backs of Jamaicans. Hmm? Thanks to the Jamaica Labour Party and the leadership of Andrew Olness and Nigel Clark. So therefore, Jamaica SSL was born. When they changed the name from Paul Chen Young and Company to SSL. So that same bi business they were named SSL. Stocks and Securities Limited. I just the name them change. And call it SSL. The name of it was Paul Chen Young and Company. Same operation taking place as in the 90s just a name change jamaica people and your wholeness has also mastered the craft with all of these shell companies so in fact ssl was still operating with the mindset and past approach of that of Eagle and Paul Chen Young. It was just a new name. I want you also, Jamaica, to notice a pattern. I want you to notice a pattern here, Jamaica. All right? And I'm going to display something on the screen. Just a second, my people. I want you to look closely on what I'm displaying here. Look down to the bottom. Wanna see the name? Chen Young Paul. You know how them do this thing in a alphabetical order. Anyway, same 
Paul Chin Young. And I want you to look up top. What is the name of that business Paul Chen Young have? Want to see the name of that business? It is called Florida Phoenix Finance Inc. One of Paul Chen Young shelf. You know, notice where right there in a Florida. A white name? Florida phoenix finance please write down that for me people the slow pity them in the class those who they had at the back let me repeat it one of paul chen young business name florida phoenix finance all right so if me ask you no one question, I say, what was the name of one of Paul Chen Young Shell Company in Florida? I'm supposed to can tell me, say, one I'm business name, Florida Phoenix Finance. Next question. Let me pull it up. Jamaica. The Supreme Court has lifted the injunction against you, Cross Creek. In his capacity as trustee of what? Phoenix Note Holders Trust. The stockbroker has announced in a public statement. Next question. What was the name of the company that you cross Cree was the trustee of that had a ton load of properties and assets for Paul Chen Young? See it in front of you. Phoenix Note Holders Trust. I want you to write down that business name for me again. So two business Paul Chen Young have so far. The first one, Florida Phoenix Finance. The second one, white name, Phoenix Note Holder Trust. Stay with me, my people. Stay with me, Jamaica. You, Mr. Zachary Hardin, who served at the depu as deputy director down at JTB, Jamaica Tourist Board. I want to know, read for yourself. Zachary Hardin, you also serve as director for what? Phoenix Group, a private investment firm based where in Orlando, Florida, that primarily invests in businesses who sell products and services for Fortune 500 companies. All right. Jamaica people, next question. In addition, bear in mind that Zachary was CEO for Donga SSL. So let me just make that clear. Do you see where Mr. Zachary Harding worked while he was in florida before him take up post down at the jamaica tourist board see let me highlight it for no he was working with phoenix group in orlando now jamaica a tree business that you know paul chen young have hugh cross Cree, i manage all of them business what them name the first one make sure to write them down Florida Phoenix Finance, Phoenix Note Holder Trust, and this one, Zachary Hardin, have the Phoenix Group. See them from town to my people? We not tell no life and the labor rights them. All right. So three businesses, Florida Phoenix Finance, Phoenix Note Holders Trust, and the Phoenix Group. Now that everything busts out Jamaica, the FSC Financial Services Commission start to intervene and things start get hot. Guess who form a new company shortly after the FSC start digging? Eh? All right. Guess who form a new company because the FSE start dig up in a them backyard now? Jamaica. None other.
None of my people. Like, I look feet. Let me take my time. Yes. See me find it here. See me find it here. Guess who formed a new company shortly after the FSC start digging? Zachary Harding and Hugh Crosscree. All right. Please note, Jamaica, that the son, yes, Hugh Crosskey have one son, you know, named Mark Crosskey. You know what the Pitney try to do? The Pitney try to sell film shares. Sell his shares in SSL back in 2019. Let me look for him. Come here, little boy. See him here? Crosskey family, you know. You Crosskey the father, Mark Crosskey the son. All right. Do not follow me. What the son do? Because hella pop now, you know. FSC a dig up. All kind of things are go down. So the son try to sell theme shares in a SSL. Hey, Jamaica. They knew that something was off.